This is 8.56 from the board. And this is basically a one sample proportion problem. Because of the reliability in the manufacturing process, the actual yielding point of a sample mild still subjected to increase in stress will usually differ from the theoretical yielding point. Let P do not live true proportion samples that yield before the theoretical yielding point. If on the basis of a sample it can be concluded that more than 20% of all the specimens yield before the theoretical point, the production process will have to be modified. So, if 12 of 44 specimens yield before the theoretical point, what is the p value when the appropriate test is used? So, first of all, we realize that we're dealing with proportions. And for our linear alternative hypotheses, we basically want to know if the proportion is more than 20%, which means that the null hypothesis would be that p equals 20%. Okay. Which also have a significance level. I'll choose 0.05. So we need to find our test statistic. And then for you for this, so it's always going to be a z equals p hat minus my hypothesis population portion over p naught times 1 minus p naught over n. Now, our sample proportion in this case was like 12 out of 44. Our hypothesized proportion is 20%. And the sample size was 44. So one point two oh six. So if I can value, we are looking for the area because it's a grid and it's with hypothesis, we're looking for the area in the right tail. And we have to use a Z tail because it was a Z test statistic. So coming to the table, if I look up one point two. Let's see. It's 1.26. Let's so round to 1.21. We get 0 0.8869. But that's the area to the left. So if I do 1 minus that, we get 0 0.1131. So my p value is 0.1131. And slightly different than the notice I answered, probably because they were able to use a computer and not a table, so they didn't have to round the IC value. Okay, part B. If the true percentage of early yields is actually 50%, and a level 0.01 test the juice, what is the probability that the company concludes? The company concludes that modification in the process is necessary. So that means our true population proportion really is 0.5. We still had our known hypotheses, the p equals 0.2. So really p equals 0.5. And we had our alternative hypothesis, the p is greater than 0.2. And we want to know what's the probability that they decide a modification is necessary. So they don't think it's necessary if they conclude that P is greater than 0.2. Okay, so again, we know our population portion is 0.5, that's the true population portion. Okay. Now, I know the hypothesis that is 0.2, our primary hypothesis is that P is greater than 0.2, and our significance level, we're asking for this at alpha equals 0.01. So what we're really asking is, what's the probability that we reject the null hypothesis 
if the population proportion is really 0.5. So we're really asking for the power, okay? which is 1 minus theta, basically 1 minus probability of a type 2 error. Actually, that's the way you switch with my old data, but it's not the way I get it instinctively. We're just looking for the power, which is the probability of rejecting the null hypothesis when H of is false. Okay, since our population function is 0.5, obviously our null hypothesis is false, and we want to reject it. So what we do here is we need to think about our critical values approach, okay, and do a few steps. So first of all, we say, well, if we wanted 0 0.01 level significance, then that means where we rejected if we got values in this region. So let's call this I Z critical value, and so we only really rejected for values greater than this. So let's find out what that Z critical value would actually be. Okay. So if we go to our standard normal table and we're looking for something that has 0 0.01 in the right or 0 0.99 in the left, okay. 0.99 looks like we're pretty close to 2.3. So Z3 equals 2.33. So we reject the little hypothesis for Z greater than or equal to 2.33. So that's where we really reject the little hypothesis. So basically now what's the probability we reject the little hypothesis? So we're looking for what is the probability of getting a test statistic of 2.33 for our data. To answer this question, we need to go back and figure out from our test statistics. Remember, it is p hat minus p naught over P naught times one minus P naught over N. Okay. Now in our situation, so that was just on our hypothesized value, because that was our best information. But if we're looking for the probability of actually getting that test statistic, then we can use actual population proportions because we know our population proportion. Sorry, scratch that. Okay. We're still looking for our test statistic, which will still be found this way. So if we plug in the area of 2.33, we can an unknown p hat minus our hypothesized value 0.2, over 0.2, or minus 0.2, over 34. And solve for p hat. equals 0 0.34. So we reject the real hypothesis if we get a p hat greater than or equal to 0.34. So I kind of got ahead of myself a little last step. So we now know when we reject the null hypothesis. This is if we get a sample portion by the equal to 0.34. Now we're looking for what is the probability of actually getting g hat greater than or equal to 34 if our population proportion really is 0.5. Now, we get to go back a few lessons. 
and I'm probably going to that P hat is greater than or equal to 0.34. It's equal to the probability, but we didn't standardize it. We need to standardize P hat minus the true population portion over P times 1 minus P over N. So greater than or equal to 0.34 minus 0.5 over the square root of 0.5 times 0.5 over 44. So this is the probability that z is greater than or equal to Thank you. 